Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. And, uh, I've discovered a few things. As you can see, I've got, uh, had the word beacon in there, because I already got distracted. I need four of these. Four beacons. You may have noticed something else in my inventory, which should give you an idea of what we need. And so, uh, figure, why not? Uh, I should probably sleep first. Trees! Willow trees! I might have to do a little bit of terraforming around this area because there's too much mud and other stuff. And I do plan to expand the house at some point, but like, over here where all this water is, I don't like how open it is, and I actually don't really like the water being so close. But, we're gonna head over this away. Now as you can see, I've got some of the uh, groundwork already placed. In it's did I? no I play I didn't place it wrong it's just the fob slider I don't have it at default uh, anyhow the third block out from each one of these corner posts you'll put a beacon now these beacons are gonna be really obnoxious and lining up in the air and I don't plan on actually using them at the moment no 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 I don't have the first tier under them so they're not gonna activate okay now it takes 54 additional runes which is going to be 540% more, which I believe is the equivalent of the around the same number of runes. Well, not the same number, but it's it's a pretty good chunk compared to what was already on there. So this should, I believe, bring us up to somewhere in the area of like a thousand blood for every monster per tick. No, not a thousand. A uh, hundred. 100 per every monster down inside of there. What? Did I? Oh, I did make a mistake. Oh well, I'll probably make another altar later at some point anyhow. So, now this should be a tier 5 altar, yes? What do you mean 4? I don't understand. Uh... Huh. Weird. This should be right. I don't understand why it wouldn't be right. As far as I know, it's supposed to be on the same level as the previous tier. Oh. Okay, apparently I'm an idiot. One second. Okay, so. I am apparently an idiot. They do need to be down one more. As you can see, it's a tier 5 now. Which is moderately useless to us at the moment. I don't believe I have the stuff to make what I need to resolve that. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with that at the moment. I'm going to get that set up at a different point. Now, there is a bunch of other things added in via this mod pack, and somehow I've managed to forget... Oh, right, I remember. Okay, so I'm going to need some obsidian. As you can see, I went out and I got quite a bit. Uh, I need eight obsidian. Do I have any netherrack? I do. Good. I'm also going to need glowstone and I'm gonna need some ender pearls uh, actually eight is what I need so I've got this magma crucible here and in this magma crucible I'm going to place that then that should be filling into the liquid transposer there we go and I'm gonna put in oh whoops I don't need obsidian for this I'm stupid I need sand. I'm going to need sandstone. Uh... Oh, come on. There we go. I think obsidian works too. Maybe? No, probably not. Otherwise, it probably would have shift-clicked in there. So, that's going to make us eight of that. 
which you're probably curious as to why I'm doing that. And it's because a mod that has existed for a while... Well, it existed before, it died, and then it came back, sort of. It, see, they did a rewrite in 164, and it didn't go over well. Nobody liked it, and it just... It, it wasn't that great. Uh, however, there's a new mod called Soul Shards Reborn. It works pretty much like the one in, I believe, 154, which was... It takes a little bit more work in order to actually make Soul Shards. Well, I suppose it depends on how you view it, really, on whether or not it takes more work. Uh, the important thing here is we need... 8 endstone. So that's going to take a second. And I'm not sure exactly what type of spawner I want. I'll probably end up just using uh, this one, which is blaze, because it's simple. Because I have it here. And I can leave the, uh, the uh, thing underneath my altar going until I'm ready for it to stop going. And I don't want to do this in my house, because I don't remember if there's any kind of major negative downsides to it. So I'm going to go somewhere... You know what? Let's go up here. Seems like a safe place. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Oh, that is not where you go. Four... That there, and I believe... Aha! As you can see, it ate our glowstone. And the diamond. But we got ourselves an unbound soul shard. Now, I think the easiest thing I can do... Is that if I just go down... Oh, here? No. Here. We we'll utilize this room already available... Uh, pretty sure my system ate the box. And that should start spawning. Eventually. You're a terrible person. Please stop. So, it is slowed down by the light. Which is fine. I can deal with that, and I could make a ritual of containment to actually move them into one singular space with relative ease, but thats I don't feel like that's really going to be necessary at the moment. And if it takes after the original one, I should be able to go uh, pull roughly, give or take, 200 souls out of actual spawners, but destroy the spawners in the process. Okay, so we got Blaze 2. Uh, I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to get a cardboard box back and throw it on top. Uh, just because I don't want it spawning at the moment. And there should be a few more spawners still that I never did anything with. I want to see if that's still the case. Uh, over here in the nether. Oh, wrong button. Now... I don't think I can actually see much of anything with this, unfortunately. Uh, that's close enough that I can work off of that. No problem. And I might as well kill any blazes I encounter along the way. So I recall seeing more blaze spawners somewhere. So I've explored these a bit before, not a whole lot, like right here, because it still work. It does. Now there's another one, conveniently, right here. So that brings us up to 404. The higher the tier, the better, because if you don't know anything about the Soul Shards mod, the tier dictates a lot of things, and we want to get to tier 5, which is 1,024 souls, because... That can be controlled via redstone. It'll spawn, I believe, 
up to six mo mo uh, mobs every two seconds. And it ignores the requirements mm. of vanilla spawners. The important thing about that is it means that we don't need to be nearby and, you know, all of those useful things. So there should be more. I know there's more than just those two. Oh, hey, glowstone. Uh, a little disappointing. I know there's more somewhere, surely. I mean, I know I have a blaze spawner down inside the thing, and I could pull that out, but... It's probably better off if... You don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Where am I now? In the same tunnel I was at before. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any blaze spawners over here at the moment. That doesn't mean there isn't any. Or maybe there isn't any. Hmm. I was hoping I could find enough blaze spawners to make this right away. But, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be that convenient. Oh, well, that's a dead end. Uh, yeah, I think I might just be wasting time at this point. Now, 512 is Tier 4. Tier 4 can't really be turned off, but I suppose that would make it at least qualify for what we want. I think. Oh. Uh, hmm. question is, so I want to go browsing around the nether looking for another, actually, I just realized something. I might be able to in that mistcraft dimension because it spawned a nether fortress. I mean, granted, I'm going to need roughly three more. Oops. This is not how I meant to get out of here. I'm going to need roughly three more spawners to... That wasn't supposed to happen. Three more spawners in order to complete it. But every spawner I do find... I never moved the miscraft stuff over. Every spawner I do find is going to reduce the number of kills I need to max it out by 200. Which I find to be very, very beneficial to my cause. Because my cause is being lazy. Okay, now I should need just one more. One. Surely there's one more blaze spawner. I got that one. Well, it's not a blaze spawner, but... Oh, I'm going to take the diamonds. Wow, is it ever dark down here. Holy crap, it is dark. However, this place is spawning nether fortresses. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, step, in, step in the lag. It's for good reason. Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. Oh, there's more this away. And I apologize for anybody's eyeballs. 
if this place hurts them, it is not pleasant for me to look at either. Things are not going as well as I had hoped for. Uh, you know what? That's, it was what, two more? That should be good enough for now. Heck with it. Let's get out of this painful place and go back to what we were doing. Now this is a tier 4, and I'm, I'm going to test it down here because I want to be doing this in somewhere where I feel safe. I think purple means on. Oh jeez. Now as far as I know, there's no active way to turn this off other than that. So, in case you didn't see what I did there, I shift right clicked it. I knew there was going to be some easy way to pull it out. Uh... Hello? Why are you not? Why are you not? You guys have power, right? No. And you don't have power. You have power. Why do you have power and nothing else does? Hmm. What? Oh, come on. Why is this not functioning? I am deeply confused right now. Hello? A hundred and twenty conduit bundle. And then this doesn't work. I feel as though there may be a glitch involved somewhere in this latest update. Maybe just a very, very large one. <sighs> There's all kinds of unpleasant. Well, luckily I can break this without consequence. Maybe that would resolve it. Okay, broken controller. Now I forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, glass. I really need to put a door into the side of that room. Rather than what I've been doing here. Do I have enough room for a door? Right here. Turn that on. Okay, so... I'll probably not end up doing that. I'll probably end up just manually farming up a thousand and some odd kills. And I'll probably do it on, like, zombies and stuff. Because I figure what I can then do is I can put one or two tier 5 spawners. As painful as that's going to be to do. Uh, underneath the altar... And then they'll just run. So, that is my plan on that one. Uh, next time, we're going to move into getting our next tier of orb. And then... Well, I suppose that's going to be the big deal on that one.
But that's also going to take time. Everything always takes time with these damn magic mods. Time, 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 time. It's almost like they're saying, we do not want to be recorded. We are going to make you take a lot of effort. Oh, I don't know if I showed this, but I put in a bunch of lights. Just... I still haven't done anything in this room, but... I put in lights pretty much all over the place. Like all through here, and in here, and in here, and here. I really need to do something about this at some point, but... Eh. And... I think that's it. I ran out of lights. No, I have two in here. Oh! Before we go... I've got this set to 608. And I've got these turned way down at the moment. 80%, 80%, 90%, 80%, 80%. And so what'll happen here is, when I turn this on, as you can see, it's generating just over 600 millibuckets a tick. Uh, it's about as close as I can get it. It's only using a quarter, no, not even a quarter, like, a th well, it says that, but if I mouse over the waist and you watch, I suppose per tick, eh, it makes sense. So, 608 we'll get this to roughly 980 RPM. Uh, I mean, the number it's generating right now doesn't seem like a large amount. I mean, yeah, we're doing okay. Pretty soon we'll be coming up and, you know, getting close to where we were. I'm going to let this go for a second. And I haven't had this running, so I haven't been generating any cyanide. I should just let it run. Just burn through an entire stack, and when that runs out, just... Yeah. Then let it run normally. But as you can see, as we're getting even in the 700 mark, we're here at about 4,500, which is what we had before. Keep in mind, this thing is toned way down. It's at below a quarter of its possible output. So, oh, and I put uh, 64 speed upgrades, and I made another upgrade type. Mining upgrade It's made with iron pick, iron ingots, and lapis. They will increase the amount it pulls out of that. And not really an issue for these because uh, this itself is outputting into it as fast as it can. Like if these two were like butted up against each other, then they probably wouldn't even need pipes. I mean, I'd probably still have to put outside water in. But as you can see, we're getting up to... It says they perform best at 900 or 1800 RPM, but that is not entirely true from what I've been able to establish. The only thing I've managed to establish that I believe to be entirely true is that the best way I'm going to be able to handle these machines is going to be to put four outputs on this and use some... Um, uh, P2P some peer-to-peer -peer tunnels because I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, the AE things can support a thousand millibuckets a tick or in this case it might support as fast as it can push it out but I'm not sure but as you can see we're at about 6500 RF with one turbine and this power is going to go for a long time. We can put another one here. And I've decided that I'm probably going to push this back and try and run two more off of this. I believe it's going to, it's possible, but it's going to take some very, very careful fine-tuning to pull off. And it will raise power usage, or fuel usage, rather. But it'll be worth it because we'll be generating eh, about 26,000 RF a tick, which will exceed our... Uh, line capabilities here. By the time we get to three, we should be at the max capability of our line. But I'm going to call this good. I'm going to get some stuff set up for furthering our blood magic next time. And I'm probably going to finish off the soul shard that I have. Get it up to a thousand. I'll probably just do that in the mistcraft age, because it'll be simpler. And, uh, 
yeah, I'm going to call this good here, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.